going back in. I did the FPR on it, so. And that's that's where it's leaking. It's leaking at the back of the CP3, so I either didn't get the uh, FPR on tight enough, or there is a questionable fuel line that I didn't get. But, nonetheless, we got it running. And, uh, oh yeah, the door and all that such is, is back on. Um, it's actually been a couple weeks since we've touched this truck, but with our lack of daylight and weather, which actually is really nice out today, it's, it's impressive for the past week, uh, it's been like 40 in rain, so we haven't been out here much. So I think you guys are just about caught up to me. I think we're almost back in real time on these videos. But uh, no, we gotta, we gotta go back in. But that's all right, because you know, when we put this truck together, um, that's also one of the really, really big reasons why I did the forward-facing thermostat. So that way, if something like this ever happened, uh, I can access everything that I need to without a whole bunch of guff. However, I did just put coolant back in it, but I think I, I got more than enough slack here to get around it. I'll probably be inconvenienced, but you know what it is, what it is. So I'm going to get some oil dried down on the ground. And uh, I think actually what we're going to do is we're going to get all these um, false hardware pieces out of these flares. Uh, we're going to get them scrubbed down real quick. And then we're going to drill the holes for the LEDs like what we did in the LMM. And kind of see where we get from there. We do got to go pick up some parts. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see where, where we end up. Pulling that out is a dumpster fire. And uh, we're just going to paint them black because uh, <laughs> I'm not wasting my time with it. So let's drop some holes in the middle for the alien. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Show me there's nothing fake to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Show me there's did was um, look at right above it I went from this edge right here and I went an inch and a half um, I went from the top ones here obviously there's five so we'll go right to the middle and uh, inch and a half I used a eighth inch drill bit went to a 13 30 seconds because I couldn't get my uh, 3 8 to come out and then I just used a good old-fashioned hobo freight uh, step drill bit. Come on, focus for me, darling. There we are. And then I went right to the three-quarter inch hole because these uh, tractor supply specials right here, they're they're three inch or three quarters of an inch. Stick your grommet in there. Bam, you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock the rest of these out. Um, I, I only installed the one just so that way you guys could, you know, see it go in. But uh, that's exactly how I did the LMM, except for the LMM, um, I did it one inch off of the, the fender line there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. I'm going to pop this out. 
We're gonna wash them that way we can get them all painted up tomorrow. Got all of our holes drilled. Got these all wiped down. Good to go. Uh, tomorrow I'll be getting them wiped down. Prepped. Um, I'm not sure if I'll start painting yet. Um, every time that uh, <laughs> yeah, every, every time we get nice weather, I think I have time, man. Something something comes up, and that's that's why these videos, the quality of them, they're getting crappier and crappier because I'm trying to do uh, more and more with less time, and then I do that thing that I hate that other YouTubers do and just sit there and talk, which is what I'm doing right now. So you know, hypocrite. But uh, anyway, that's that's where we're at. Like I said, got to wipe them down, get them painted, uh, get them installed. We did pick up some billet inserts for a 2005 Cat Eye because uh, I think we're going to be switching over to the 05 front end on Leah. And uh, we got to dig into uh, Queen Sheba here because... Uh, I think the FPR itself is leaking. I don't think it's the crappy line. I think it's the I think it's the FPR itself. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. All that fun stuff. You know what to do. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna keep uh, videos rolling. I want to try to do. I, I, I'm gonna try to go for like a week or so. See if I can do a daily upload, and uh, you know, just kind of feel it out. See how it goes. But you know, trying not to be the douchey YouTuber that I'm doing right now because I'm still talking. Anyway, take care, guys. Love you. Appreciate it. And uh, God bless. Take care of yourselves out there. Stuff times.